You will not believe where we are at. I have been waiting to go to this museum for years. The minute I tell you one of his paintings, Melting Clocks, you're gonna know exactly where we're at. That's right, St. Petersburg, Florida. We are at the Dali Museum where we are going to get to see some amazing artworks and a museum that is like none other. I cannot wait. Let's get inside and get started. We are here with Peter Tush. So what is it you do here at the museum before we get to talk about this gorgeous, enormous piece? Yeah, I'm the curator of education. One thing I love is walking in here, especially with Dolly's work, is right. you never know what size you're gonna get in real life. Like you see it in a book, and then you see it here, and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, this one's about 12 and a half feet tall, so wow. it's, it is massive. So tell me about like what we're seeing, and especially the time frames. Well, this was done between 68 and 69, 1968 and 69. Dolly at this point was, had kind of outlived a lot of his colleagues. You know, he's in his 60s, born in 1904, so he's 64 years old, and he's about to build a museum. He knows he's gonna have a museum in Spain, in his hometown, and that's gonna be his big project. So he has a little bit of time and he decides to set himself to a task of creating a very ambitious work that really kind of summarizes his career. So this is called the Hallucinogenic Toreador and the inspiration for it was the Venus de Milo and in particular, a box of pencils. You know, so Dolly would go to art stores and just buy supplies. One of the supplies he always bought were Venus pencils with the Venus de Milo on the cover. He was looking at it and he started to see a face. And so for the next 16 months, he and his uh, colleague assistant more or less start mapping this out and build this incredible double image. Lots of Venus de Milo's in here, but there's, there's 31 of them. And the one that's right in the center who has the green shadow on her robe, that shadow actually becomes a tie of a bullfighter shirt. And so right above the green shadow, there's a round button. That's the button of the bullfighter shirt. And then in the body of the Venus, there's a shadow across her abdomen and belly that becomes the chin and the lips of his face. Her breast becomes his, eye, his nose. And then her face has like a semicircle, like a shadow. And that becomes his right eye. And his left eye sort of fits just into that little nook of the first Venus with uh, her elbow right here. He takes the, the most familiar image of female beauty, the Venus de Milo, and he pulls out the most masculine, virile Spanish figure in a Mexican oh, yeah. fighter. It's one of the greatest illusions he ever made, and people see it and they just, you know, their minds are blown. Why the animals, why the, right. the flies, or this little boy down here, is that Dali? First is that right here in this kind of rock area, there's actually a bull, and that's the bull, of course, oh, that the bullfighter right has yeah. to battle. Instead of a pool of blood, there's a pool of water and a woman on a raft, and that's because there's this story that's associated with the area where Dali grew up about flies. And it's the idea that on three occasions, French invaders come and came and tried to conquer the area. Huh. And on each of these occasions, these huh. flies would swarm out of this particular crypt and drive them back. Ah. So the miracle of the flies is something Dolly's really familiar with. And that's why there's flies transforming everywhere here. And that is Dolly, as you said, you know, it's from an earlier painting, but he wants to show that even as a child, he could have these grand visions. And the one that people often miss that's pretty wonderful, Right down here at the bottom, it looks like there's a pattern of light coming through the water. It's a Dalmatian. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Faces on the left, the underbelly. It was from a Life magazine uh, photo. Dolly loved it so much, he just copied it right into his painting. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if 3D or the fact mm -hmm. you could feel that mm -hmm. depth, but the way he used it with even the, the colors, which doesn't fit, but there's something really pleasant well, about it. Well, part of the thing with the color spots is that it's the coat of lights that a bullfighter would wear into the ring. Oh, okay. But Dolly is definitely experimenting with kind of three-dimensional effect. But for him, you know, it's like the summation of his career. Yeah. He wants to show people, showing earlier double images, he's making references to cubism. Yeah. You know, it's he just, just throws it all down. Yeah, he's, he's this great storyteller who wants to share more and more ideas. You know, yeah, I feel like I have seen this painting so many times. I'm seeing it completely new with a lot of new detail. That's amazing. That's, well, thank you. Thank you.